And from the title of this video, you're probably feeling like you're misled. However, give me some time to explain. Because I want to tell you that this is the most secure, oldest build and build a boat for treasure. The reason I say oldest is because this was the first thing I built when I got into build a boat for treasure. There's only two builds like this, and the other one was a fairy, so uh, kind of cool. I showed it on its channel before. I might show it again later if you really, guys really want to. Please comment if you do want to see it. Now, this build has been upgraded from time to time, but the general structure has remained the same. The inside part is the oldest and it used to be uncolored and i just wanted to show you guys and how well it goes to the stages now it isn't the best and it isn't the coolest and it isn't the most flashy however it was one of the oldest and i do think it's really cool if you like this video make sure to like and subscribe or just do it beforehand so you can get it over with and if you don't like it at the end uh, feel free to unlike i don't care um but the inside is fairly simple there's a little walking area with a few seats and a lot of buttons I have a bunch of lights over here so you can see and two pumpkins for some reason the inside is covered with metal and glass and the ground is metal and marble there's also bread on the walls to add a little look and big glass mirror windows so you can see outside they're not mirrors i guess they're kind of glassy but no you can't see yourself um i don't know the purpose of all these buttons but the real area where you're probably to see me being in is inside here or if you go up I don't know why it's being a little weird, but all right, we go up, we open this, you see the main control room. This room has four seats, four people, and one ladder that goes up and onto the ceiling, or roof, however you want to say it. And this is probably one of the most secure builds in early Build of Treasure. Um, because of how well I made it at the time, um, now, it's not the best, again. Um, and it's kind of hard to get down with the new physics and new um, character models in build about, um, or just in Roblox in general. But, you know, it still is pretty cool. I just kind of have to shimmy my way down. And there we go, now I'm inside. It took me a bit, but <laughs> we finally got there. Um, and this boat actually raises up two blocks, um, which is really cool. This is to prevent it from taking immediate damage on the bottom and avoids a lot of traps. Going a little bit of history of this boat, this was made in around 2016-2017 era. I think 2017, um, but I could be wrong. So it's not the earliest, but it's probably one of the most early boats. I think December of 2016, possibly, um, but I could be wrong if you're curious about the... Uh, the time timing of this boat distance as you see it goes over um some rocks not all of them um and it's not really intended for long use it's just intended to you know avoid a few and we got through the first stage extremely easily nothing really dangerous there um but you know kind of neat to see and the gold blocks really help to block things that are a little more higher up. Um, you can see the first leg broke, but honestly, it's not that bad. It's just kind of, uh, a little damage to the front, uh, and I'm still staying over. Oh, okay, I okay, now now we're down. <laughs> I lied. Um, but overall, nothing nothing dangerous dangerous here. Uh, just just really simple things. And now we're onto another really old stage. Um, it's just taking a lot of updates through the time. Uh, it used to just be cogwheels, I think. I could be wrong. Uh, it's been a while since I played the game fully, um, and a lot of my trivia is rusty. Uh, but yeah, this stage doesn't really serve any unique challenge. It's just cogwheels um, and orange rocks. So yeah, kind of cool, but not really anything truly dangerous. Uh, and this stage is definitely new. Um, is this the paint stage now? This might be the paint stage, because if it is, this is the one I helped design, and it seems like it's taken up a lot of updates. Um, yeah, I did help make the paint stage. It was the, one of the first stages I came up with completely original, and Shell Thrill added into the game. Um, and if you're curious, I came up with it because 
paintbrushes going up. Uh, or, you know, I forget it was if it was before or after the paintbrush. But anyway, um, it uh, its purpose was to act as like another form of damage as in color, because I thought that would be kind of cool, and you don't really see that all the time. Uh, now this stage kind of targets directly you, um, so it kind of gets inside the boat sometimes, uh, which is annoying, but. Uh, I seem to be all fine in here, uh, and it seems like somehow the the things holding me up actually did help prevent a few blocks from getting on, but not many. Um, and here's the music stage. This one's really annoying because it also gets inside the boat because they're invincible until they uh, until they get to their final destination. So that means that it will sink inside the boat and damage it. As you can see, until uh, its velocity reaches zero, it will keep going. Which is annoying, but, you know, it happens. And I think these do a significant bit of damage. Um, but I could be wrong. It might have been a while ago. Um, it seems like if the game is lagging, or I think the game just lagged. Um, this just has trouble getting through these for some reason. Um, here we go. Here's the, uh, I think this is the washing machine stage. Yeah. The washing stage. Um, I don't know why the game is having such a fuss over, uh, the lag. But we'll see in a bit. If it want to work. Alright, it seems like it's gone a lot better. And as we fall in, this just shows that it could be used to go, uh, both sideways up and down. And it still be fine. Uh, that's why I made all corners of this really safe and secure initially. Um, I wanted to make sure that this boat would be fine, um, even if it toppled on top of itself. Uh, now there is improvements I would obviously make, but after a few, like a year ago, I stopped updating it because I wanted it to remain true to its original build. Um, now obviously it's changed quite a bit, but I think it does look really good still. Um, and maintains what it looks like. These blocks down here are probably some of the oldest blocks. As you can see, they're a little misfigured and a little uh, kind of overlapping. That's how it used to work in old build of treasure. Um, things would just overlap with each other because uh, you couldn't, couldn't really do much. Um, and blocks didn't fully align. They kind of uh, clicked into weird positions and no one really knew why at the time. Uh, this one is a really dangerous one, but I think it's Fine that I'm on my side for this. You see, the barrels explode um, and do quite a bit of damage. It's an area of effect damage. So that's where the main problem lies. Um, but overall, it shouldn't be too bad. That's why I have the uh, the metal over here as an, in an X form. Um, main, uh, maintain a stable base. Um, here's the calorie stage, I like to call it, which does a significant amount of damage. Um, this was an old stage, but they reimagined it, I think. Um, so, yeah, I don't know, cool. <laughs> That's about a trip. I just remember this one used to be a lot more bare and a lot more, uh, simple. And still does immense amount of damage. Um, Tsunami still does uh, just launch you in the air. Nothing kind of crazy, but, you know, very cool. And it just, uh, it's really simple. There's nothing much to talk about. <laughs> Finally, the lighthouse stage. Um, nothing really crazy about this one. It's just, you know, high damage, high, high pain blocks. Um, so, you know. Nothing, nothing too crazy. Just, just a bit of a uh, block damage, and honestly, it's it's sustainable. You can you can tank this, uh, to, and we'll speed through this. Alrighty, here we go. Final stage. I uh, mean, this is this is fun. <laughs> I don't know why I said that, but you know what? We do a little tune. 
And the final thing, really no problem, just fall off. Um, if I know anything about falling off, uh, I'd be very good at it. Uh, so we take our little final thing. This hasn't changed. Um, the only problem with this is sometimes you get stuck. Um, also, I've lost all my stuff. Wow, that's a big hole. I did not think that was this much for this repair. Huh. Interesting. Now we're just going to slip out because I don't want to, you know, die. Because um, it will launch you sometimes and that's annoying. And as you see, that is the most secure, most uh, damage resistant base and oldest. Uh, definitely not the most secure, but probably one of the oldest, most secure. Um, so yeah, that's fun. That's cool. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Um, comment your favorite build that you've seen a build before treasure. And have an amazing day. See you guys, I got 237 gold. Isn't that amazing? Um, <laughs> see ya.